The charge controller. Oh, finally got it. All right, let's see how big this thing is. So I have to get this into my little white boat, preferably in a spot where I can see the readout. Yeah, I definitely want it in a spot where I can see the readout. Somewhere where it's not going to get wet. Look at that. That's good looking stuff right there. Rover 20 amp MPPT charge controller by Renogy. Looks good. I've had some of their stuff before and I've always been happy with it. So, yeah, hopefully this will be good too. I have had recently an experience where I bought a charge controller and it was. It did not function on its own. You needed like accessories to go with it to get it to function, which is just, oh God. So I'm pretty sure this is a self-contained thing. It'll do all the stuff on its own. Is this a temperature sensor? It is a temperature sensor. Wow. So make sure my batteries don't overheat. So I think that's a temperature sensor. And some mounting hardware stuff. All right, let me see if I can figure out where to put this. Well, it looks like the temperature sensor's got a pretty long wire, so I should be able to put the controller anywhere and it'll reach. All right, let's go out to the boat. I'm sweating like a pig right now because I was, I was digging all morning, trying to, you know, get some digging done. But, uh, okay, the boat's right over here. The battery is up here in this front compartment. It's a really nice battery too. It's a 24 volt, 100 amp hour, made by, made by Sock, S-O-K. They're supposed to be really high quality. So it'd be good to get this thing charging. Um, okay, I sit right there. I kind of want to put this like up in the ceiling-ish somewhere up here. I think that'd be a good spot. In my chair. Ah. Oh, okay. Don't fall, camera. Okay. Like you. mount it right there would be a little bit in my way. Okay, if it's sitting right there, I can still see pretty well. Well, I could just put it like right here. I don't want it to get in the way of pedals hitting it, so I'd have to go up a little. Well, I guess I could just make a piece that holds it up there. That wouldn't be that hard. It would definitely get plenty of wind. I would just be worried about it getting splashed. Okay, I think I put it right up here. A bit of an angle, yeah. It looks like it's got mounting holes on the heat sink. So I'm going to presume I can drill holes anywhere along this. Mount it. And when I was just outside, I figure if I put two holes right here and here, put a piece of metal going across, I'll be able to attach it to those pipes out there. It'll make sense. Right. Okay. Okay, I admit it, I am guessing a little bit here. Uh... All right, that looks pretty good, nice and sturdy. Now I've got to connect the battery slots to the battery. I've got some 10 gauge wire here. And the question is, do I run it across the ceiling and down or down and across? 
problem with going across here is people are going to hit it with their arms. Unless I put it under. Mm, I don't know. I think I better run it across the ceiling. So it's out of the way of people. And then I'll just come down one of these. And then sneak right in there. All right. Two wires coming out of there. Going up to the ceiling. Ignore all this crap. Most of that's going to go away. Coming across and into the thing. And excellent. 26.3 volts sounds about right. The little instruction manual tells me that I have to connect the batteries before the solar panels. So that means I had to connect the motor wires to the battery at the same time. Because to put the motor wires off, I'd have to unscrew everything and attach the motor wires, which would disconnect the batteries. Which means if I already have the solar panels connected, then I have to disconnect the batteries to the motor. I have to disconnect the solar panel. Anyway. I just connected two big fat wires too, and those will go to the motor. I don't know what they're, they're just not doing anything right now. Just... Next, I have to connect two of these solar panels to that charge controller. And it doesn't really matter which ones. I think I want to connect the rear ones because they're more likely to be in the sun when I'm parked at a dock. Like if I come into a dock and at the front, if there's any kind of covered roof or anything, these solar panels might get covered. More likely, these will still be in the sun, so yeah, they'll be able to charge the batteries while I'm parked. Hopefully. Okay, so I have to connect two solar panels in series to this charge controller. So that means out of the four wires that should be sticking out down here. Yeah, oh, they're just hanging out, good. Um, I connect two to each other and then the other two go to the charge controller. So the two to each other is I have to connect a positive of one solar panel to a negative of another solar panel. Okay, got my wires. I got a safety diode in there. Wires coming through here. Got them connected to the ceiling. A bunch of spots and down into the charge controller right there. Okay, now I should be seeing... Ooh. It's got a little sun up here, that means the solar panels are getting sun. And then some little blinky things here that I think say electricity is going into the batteries. Beautiful. Now I need to set this to lithium batteries, make sure it's doing the right thing. All right, I follow the little instructions here. This thing has four different buttons. Super easy to program. So down in the bottom right corner, it says LI for lithium. It's tiny, but I can see it. All right, we're on 24 volts. Yes, correct. At the bottom left there. And it looks like energy's going in. Okay, I think everything is good. I've even got some fancy lights blinking up here. Not, not blinking, lit up. Ooh, nice stuff. Oh, and from my chair here in the boat, I can totally see the numbers. Beautiful, very easy to see. Doesn't block my vision too much. Can still see around and under. All right, this blocks my vision more than anything doesn't hit up there. All right, I think everything is good. Oh, that means I can I can connect the motor stuff now. What am I going to do? I have, a, I have some funny ideas about a speed controller. Oh my gosh, this boat's almost ready to go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just going to watch the batteries charge for a little bit. Oh, nice work. My wires coming off the motor there are two gauge which is way bigger than they need to be. Well, I mean, not way bigger, but four gauge would have been fine. I just don't have any. So I should have some very efficient uh, energy transference from the batteries to the motor. So that's good. You know what? I think I'm gonna figure out the motor thing tomorrow. Uh, everything's charging in there right now. It's looking great. For the motor speed control, I'm doing something a little bit crazy. I bought some 10 gauge nichrome wire. I'm gonna make a speed control out of it, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll find out.